Welcome to this Flash Tutorial 30. Object moves in a circle using Action Script. I'm starting a new FLA. I'm selecting Action Script 3. And I'm calling this first layer Star, S T A R. I'm opening the library. My library is docked here. If you don't have it docked, if you go up in the window, you'll find library somewhere right there and click on it. I dock mine because I use it a lot. Down here, insert a new symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected and call it star star shift underscore mc. Close it. And we're now inside that star movie clip. Come over here, select that thing here, rectangle tool, click on the little corner, select poly star tool, open the properties panel, and pick up a, this is the outside color, I want a red for, for my star. Uh, my stroke is one, solid, normal. Options, I want it to be a star, so here, star, and I want it to have 11 points on it and I want them to be very long so I'm going to go point 0.1 I'll show you the difference in a minute okay and I'll just make a star there I'm going to delete that go back to my poly tool now I'm going to show you what it looks like if I for example made it 1.1 1 .1. So it's 10 times, something's 10 times different, and I'll show you what that is. See how that is. So that's, that's what I don't want. Control Z will disappear that. Open my properties panel, and now go back to 0 0.1. 0 0.1, and 11 sides to my star. There it is. Nice little star. Pick up your selection tool, highlight it. This thing here, alignment tool. If you don't have it docked, go under window and you'll find alignment tool somewhere. Alignment tool. Click on it. Open it up. Make sure this box is checked. Click here. This aligns me on my horizontal axis. This aligns me on my vertical. So now that's centered. Go back to... Oh. While we're here, make sure that's highlighted. Uh, modify. Convert it to a symbol and we're going to call this star s t a r but it's the one inside the movie clip so capital m c shift underscore m c copy that and paste it in here as a instance name so we're going to get back to this later on so now i have a movie clip with a star in it and that star is called star movie clip movie clip back to scene one Call this, select this first frame of this star layer, open the library, and grab your, oh, grab the star one, and it doesn't matter where you put it, as long as it's on the stage, I'm putting mine down there. And open the properties panel, and in here, give it an instance name, S-T-A-R, shift underscore M-C, and now it has an instance name. Lock that layer, insert a layer, Call it Action Script AS. And open the Actions panel right here. And all this code. Type, 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 type. Now, I got this code m many years ago off the internet. Somewhere. Someone was helping me. And we're just going to go through it quickly. I'm making five variables. So VAR turns purple. Space angle. Uh, colon, number, number turns blue, capital N-U-M-B-E-R equals zero, semicolon. Copy that, paste it in, change the word angle to center X, and change the zero to 270. Paste it again, change the word angle to center Y equals 200. Paste it in again, make it radius, R-A-D-I-U-S, and make it 100. 
paste it in again, call it speed, and equals 0.1 semicolon. Now, I want this to happen over and over and over, so I need an enter frame. So stage, S-T-A-G-E, small s, turns blue, period. Add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L, that will turn blue. Open bracket, event, capital E, V-E-N-T, turns blue, period. This enter underscore frame is all uppercase capitals. That turns blue, comma, and I'm calling this nth frame, capital E, capital F. That stays black, close bracket, semicolon. That's the name of the function. You can put any name you want here as long as it doesn't change colors. Function turns purple. There's nth frame, so copy nth frame, paste it in. Open bracket, little e, e, colon, event. Capital E V E N T, you can copy this event and paste it in. Close bracket, colon void. Void and function are the same color. There's an open curly bracket for, bracket for the function. And as you start to type, you'll get this closed curly bracket. If not, put it in. Star underscore MC period X. That's that movie clip X coordinate equals center X. That's this center X up here. You can copy and paste. Plus math period sign. Capital M, A-T-H, period sign, turns blue. Open bracket, angle. That's that word angle up there. Close bracket. Asterisk, that's the multiply. That's the asterisk. It's the uppercase of the number 8. Radius, that's the radius word up here. And semicolon. Copy that line. Paste it in. And change the X here to a y and change the x here to a y so now we're doing the x and y coordinates and change the word sine here to cosine cos and this is our speed angle plus equals speed semicolon that just means uh, plus equals means to um, increment it by that amount so it's going so now let's just test this for a minute control Test movie test. No errors. And see it jumps over here. It was down there at the beginning. That's because of the coordinates we've put, put on it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go inside that movie clip. Select the movie clip uh, star MC. Double click on it. Now we're inside that movie clip. And call this the star. S-T-A-R, lock that layer, insert layer, call it action script, A-S, select that frame one of the actions layer, open the actions panel, and type, type, type this code. Now, if you want, you can go back and copy them, them two lines and make this one change, but stage, period, add event listener, open bracket event, period, enter underscore frame, comma, nth frame, and the only difference between what we did on the frame one of the main scene is now we're going to call it a two because I can't use the same name twice. There's a closed bracket semicolon, function, nth frame two, open bracket E, colon event, closed bracket colon void. There's my open curly bracket for my function and my closed curly bracket for my function. And here we're going to say, star mc underscore mc that's this movie clip we made period it's rotation plus equals 15 semicolon so this is going to be spinning while it is spinning around the center so let's watch this so the star is spinning and we're doing this in a clock counterclockwise position now i don't know if we'll be able to see it but let's go back here and make this a minus for a minute See if we can actually see a difference. It might be higher too. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Let's go back to scene one for a minute. Scene one. Let's select the action code. And down here, let's make this a minus. And now instead of going counterclockwise, it should go clockwise. Test movie test. I hope you learned something from this simple tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.